paved in as a floor that generates energy from your footsteps. So whenever you walk, we convert your weight to electrical power. So the more people walk on the floor, the more energy is stored in batteries, and it can be used to power lights in our cities, Wi-Fi networks, pollution monitoring, anything you need can be powered through the simple act of a human footstep. Underneath these floor tiles are vertical electromagnetic induction generators. In other words, when you walk on these tiles, tiny flywheels hidden underneath spin, creating electricity. The more people walking on them, the longer the flywheels spin. And the more they spin, the more electricity is created. When I first came across the idea for PaveGen after working at one of Europe's largest energy companies, they said to me, Lawrence, I want you to make a street light that is powered by renewable energy. So obviously I explored solar and wind. And at that point in, in 2007, 8 and 9, it wasn't possible in urban spaces to find a tangible energy source when there's lots of shading from buildings and there's not very good wind in dense urban areas. So I thought, what if we could use the energy of the 50,000 people an hour who pass through some of the busiest centres of our cities, from train stations, airports, sports stadiums, offices, public spaces, you name it, all have huge opportunity for harvesting human energy. And I think also we show that we can make energy fun. So who would have thought that an engineer, myself, who set out to address an energy challenge would have made a product that people really want to take part in? Um, the way I like to see it is you, you can't hug a wind turbine or a solar panel, but the act of taking part in energy, it, it, engaging people, is just like hugging a floor. So we've really made it tactile so people can see, touch, feel and be part of, of the city around them and make a real difference. And PaveGen has installed this difference in over 200 sites in over 30 countries. This UK company raised over $2.5 million via crowdfunding two years ago and is now seeking further investment to help scale up its business. We're very similar to the journey that solar have been through. So solar took 80 years to go from several thousand dollars a kilowatt hour to a few dollars. And that took millions of dollars of investment to get to that point. So we're on that trajectory of cost reduction and it comes down to, to raising capital, to increasing volume of sales to get to that point. But we're, we're really happy with what we've achieved so far and the costs you know, keep going down as we keep developing and iterating the product. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.